So in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between purposive and quota sampling. So let's take a look at the difference between these two sampling purposive and quota sampling. So why are there confusions between these two? Let's try to look at the definition of these two uh, sampling. We have uh, a purposive sampling is a non-probability sampling that is selected based on characteristics of a population and the objective of the study. So we are selecting the participants according to its characteristic and also considering the objective of the study. While for quota sampling we are, um, it's, it's a non-probability sampling where you take a very tailored sample that's in proportion to some characteristic or trait of a population. So we basically choose the population also according to its characteristic. So probably that makes it confusing for us to know whether we are using a purposive or we are using a quota sampling. If we are choosing a, a participant or a respondent according to its characteristic, whether they are male or female or whatever is um, kind of characteristic that we want to choose from the respondents. So what we are uh, sure that they are the same is they have something about characteristic and they are both non-random or non-probability sampling. Now let me illustrate to you the difference between these two uh, kinds of sampling. So we're going to start with the purposive. So let's say for example we have a hundred population. So as you can see there are um, reds and light yellow colored uh, human icons so let's assume that those uh, red colored icons are female there are actually 30 red and 70 male because that's light yellow colored uh, icon so there are 70 male and 30 female on those uh, population so for purposive sampling, so let's assume that we are having a study about um, something, uh, a research about, let's say for female, let's say you have um, a treatment for, for removing the pain for um, menstrual period for female. So of course that, that study is only intended for female. So you cannot do that for male. So that's the purpose of this study. That is the objective. You are conducting a research for women because you cannot do that for men because you cannot ask them about anything about menstrual uh, cycle because they we, uh, males don't have that um, uh, problem or nature. And so um, out of 30, in the population so we'll just get a sample from that so of course all your samples will be all uh, female so it will be like this so as you can see um, there's no male uh, in the sample no matter how many males are there in the population it doesn't matter because your purpose in the study is to um, focus on female and it's uh, let's say it's only applicable for a female so that's why you are choosing or uh, hand-picking those uh, women or female now let's go to quota sampling so let's say we have the same population and then um, in quota sampling, it's kind of different uh, studies that are uh, applicable for quota, which is not uh, applicable for purposive. So, but we're going to use the same characteristic, male and female. So, let's say a study that is, um, you want to know uh, who sleeps uh, longer, whether the male or female or something like that so it's not um, for quota sampling the researcher uh, researches uh, that is uh, 
applicable for this kind of sampling is not necessarily uh, limited for one characteristic it's still applicable for any kind of characteristic it's just that you choose um, the proportion of the sample according to the characteristic so what does it mean by that so in the given there are 30 percent or 30 because this there are 100 population so 30 percent are female and 70 percent are male so let's say you want to select 10 people out of this 100 population so you are going to make sure so with, actually in quota sampling any characteristic so i will just choose gender as the characteristic so i will choose the gender of the participants or the respondents proportionate according to the population so since there are 30 percent of the population are female so that means there it must be 30 percent also of the sample must be female since there are 70 percent of the population are male 70 percent also of the samples are uh, male so i'm going to select them carefully so that uh, i am going to re to achieve that quota so we call that quota the the 30 percent female 70 percent male so that's the quota so you are going to select the participants that's why it's non-random so that you will reach that number so since it's 10 then it must be three female as 30 percent and seven males as uh, 70 percent so it's going to be like this as you can see there are um 33 uh, females so that's 30 percent it represents the 30 percent from the population which are female and there are seven males which is the 70 percent it represents the 70 percent of the male from the whole population so although purposive and quota are talking about or involving characteristic they are using it differently for the purposive it uses the characteristic as its basis for choosing the sample meaning if it's female then it's all female it's not a combination of uh, the different characteristics well, for quota, it's using the characteristic to know the proportion of the sample. So, let's say in our example, it's gender. So, since 30% of the people are female, so you're going to choose also 30% uh, of your sample must be also female. So, that uh, the purpose of this is for it to equally represent the population. So that it will uh, represent the 40, uh, the thirty percent female from the whole population, because it is it looks unfair for uh, if it's seventy percent men in the population and you're going to choose only one or two, and they are majority in the population. That's why it's like that. Although it sounds um, equal or fair, but it's still not considered random. It's still non-random sampling for quota so that's the difference between purposive and quota sampling thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section